One of the arts of woodworking is being able to cut wood using a handsaw and not always relying on power tools. Now, handsaws don't need electricity or batteries. They're easy to transport and store. And at the end of the day, have been around a lot longer than power saws. Cutting anything needs an accurate cut. And certain saws do these jobs better than others. Wood saws are designed for first fix, second fix, and general multi-purpose. The difference here is how many TPI, or teeth per inch, are cut into the saw blade. The more teeth, the finer the cut, but the longer it'll take to make the cut. Now these blades are made from a flexible alloy steel and cut on both the forward and back pull. To start the cut, do a few pull strokes until you have a slight groove, because the blade does tend to stick on the push. Hacksaws are usually used for cutting metal, but these can also be used for plastic as well as wood. And hacksaw blades are also categorized by TPI. The higher the number, the finer the cut. Hacksaws that have a clip handle tend to hold the blade tighter than those with a tightening screw of sorts, and some saws allow the blade to be attached at 45 degrees. Coping saws are used for more detailed cuts that have curves, and your maximum cutting depth is limited by the distance from the top of the saw to the blade. These saws cut on the pull stroke. Now back saws are usually used with mitre boxes, but can be used as a standalone saw. Your maximum depth is also limited by the top rail that holds the blade in place. So if you're cutting wood for a project, PVC plastic pipes or a steel bar, builders have a variety of hand saws to get the job done, both in-store or online, builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.